Houston Grand Opera is bringing back Massonet's Verter for the first staging in more than 40 years. And joining me now to talk about this production is Grammy winner Isabel Leonard, who's making her debut with the Houston Grand Opera. Wow, it is so wonderful to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's Tell a pleasure. me a little bit about this production. Uh, well, this story of Verter is, I think, for me, one of the most heartbreaking, beautiful love stories that exists in opera. Yeah. Um, I always say, you know, for anybody that is not really familiar with opera or doesn't know the story very well, I always think, you know, Pride and Prejudice. Think like Keira Knightley in Pride, Pride yeah. and Prejudice. You know, she falls in love with the man that she can't have. And oh, it looks so dramatic. And right it's, oh, it is so dramatic. It's so very painful at the end. It's, you know, all about, un, you know, unrequited love and, and all of these things that we, I think, really understand as humans, oh, right? for sure. Um, and Charlotte, who's the, car the character that I play, mm -hmm. she is a young woman who is the eldest of a lot of children in her family. Her mother is just passed away and she has promised her mom that she's going to marry Albert who is in the town and he's a good man and has a good job right. you know and but she's not in love with him right uh -huh. she's in love with Verter and and that's really kind of all you need to know about the story yeah right? that's, that's it is, a perfect preview yeah it is it's, you, you told have to come me, and see the rest see what yeah, happens ooh, <laughs> yeah. you told me you've played different variations of this and performed mm -hmm. different variations yeah. of this what's different about this one well, so for first of all, oftentimes um, opera, I always say, is a little bit like actors who do mainly Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. So you're doing the role many times over the course of your career, but oftentimes in a different production. So the sets will change, what the director wants you to do changes, your costumes change. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the concept, sometimes they do it in a modern period. Sometimes it's in a, in a period very close to when the piece was written. Um, so this particular production is very... Um, I would say it's very sparse. It's very, there's not a lot of, no like bells and whistles. It's very clean. It's um, really centers on the relationship that all of the characters have one to each other. And it's very film-like in a way, mm. because if you were to look at everybody's faces uh, through a camera, you would really kind of, I think, see what the director was intending throughout the piece. Yeah. So. And tell us a little bit about how you got your start. I, I was always into the theater. I was not a theater kid in that sense. Um, I was really shy, actually. I, I was the one that would hide on the playground. You know, I didn't want to wow. talk to anybody. But I danced growing up. Um, I sang all the time. And my mother was great about putting me into these things, right, without too much pressure. And it honestly, it's just sort of evolved. I went to conservatory, and I was lucky that out of my master's, I started working. And 16 years later, and then we get to chat. <laughs> oh, I love this. Well, you can check out Isabel Leonard at Viterre. They are playing right now. You can look at that information right there on your screen at the Houston Grand Opera. I am sure it is going to be a beautiful production. Isabel, thank you so much for joining us here today. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me.